So we're at Hell's Crossing today. We're parked at the trailhead to hike into Goat Peak. And this is off of Highway 410. There is another nice uh, trailhead that gets you into Goat Peak that's over on the road into Bumping Lake. And I think I like that route better. But today we wanna put Goat Peak Trail 958 in the bag. That's the goal. So we're gonna head on up the trail and see how it goes. So we're just over half a mile in right now. And so far, it's exactly what it looks like on the maps. Just a nasty uphill slog. I think it's going to be about five miles round trip, but over 3,000 feet of elevation gain, so kind of ridiculous. I've avoided trying this approach because when you look at the map, you can kind of tell what it is. It's just an uphill grind. The approach in uh, from the trailhead on the road into Bumping Lake it's just a much more pleasant approach. I can tell that already. So this will probably be the first and last time I attempt this approach to Goat Peak. And I'm gonna stop videotaping so I can breathe. Well, so far, it looks like this route, it's gonna get you there quickly. Well, not quickly, in a short distance. And it appears to have been engineered by, you know, drunk college students with boundless energy, but it's pretty. Some great views. Looking out towards the other ridge. Zoom in on those a little bit. So, great views, but man, paying the price for it. So here's the view from the 1.3 mile mark. And again, I think it's about two and a half miles to the top. So I have about 1.2 miles to go from here. So, so far this trail has been a great example of what Andrew Skirka would call type two fun, which means it's not fun to do, but it'll be fun to talk about it later. So about 1.7 miles in, you got your view of Rainier sitting over here. And then if you swing out to the right, there's Fife's Peak right there, right there, Fife's Peak. Doesn't look nearly as impressive as it does uh, right off of 410. 2.7 miles in so far. A little, pretty little piece of trail here. I'll hit the zoom on this a little bit, get a better idea of what we see here. We're actually looking out towards the Stewart Range that way. Hard to see. But, wow, this is just, this is a, this is a beautiful little spot. This is a tough slog though. I can tell you that the hike into Goat Peak from, um, the road into Bumping Lake is much easier than this one. It's still hard work. It's not that it's a, an easy hike, but this this approach is just tough. It's it's been an uphill grind, kind of without respite the entire way. So at the 2.8 mile mark, on the way up, you hit the sign indicating that you've intersected with the American Ridge Trail. So about 3.2 miles in is what I have it at the top of Goat Peak. We're looking out towards um, Bumping Lake and Mount Adams. And then if we spin to the right, 
a pickup Mount Rainier right there. And you can kind of keep spinning. And then we're going to be looking out towards Fife's Peak. The bug's landing on me. And then you're looking out towards the Stewart Range, which doesn't really show. As you can see it with your eye. Um, it doesn't show up really on the camera very well. So I think that's looking right out right there. I think that's actually Stuart. And just keep spinning. So it's a great view from the top. I think my zoom I have I'm using times two zoom right now to try to pick up some of the features and then we're back at Bumping Lake right there so it was clo closer to 3.2 miles so it's going to be over six miles so a mile longer than what all trails was identifying the round trip distance as and definitely the approach that uh, you take coming up from the road into Bumping Lake, so the, that Bumping River Road, I know that's not what the road's actually called, but that approach was, in my estimation, far easier than this approach was. They're both hard, but man, that, that approach out of Hell's Crossing, that was, that was hell. That was a big climb. Anyways, I know I'm panning too fast, I'm sorry. Here's the view from the top. And there's the tube. I think the Cascadians put it in so you can sign in and say that you actually made it. So there's proof. So I'm going to sign in here in a minute if there's a pencil in, in it. A little bit further. Back towards Rainier one more time. And we'll make that the shot of the day right there. Rainier from the top of Goat Peak. Time to start that hike back down. Now I can actually get some footage without gasping for breath. <laughs> that literally was straight up the entire way. Now it's going to be one of those leg burning downhill hikes. <laughs> but at least I won't be gasping for breath. Yeah, that which was a steep ascent <laughs> becomes one of those knee-jarring steep descents. You always think, oh, I'm going to be so much faster on my way down. It's not always true. Sometimes you're just fighting to maintain your footing a little bit without spraining your ankles. sketchy.
don't think I'm gonna run across this. <laughs> I don't think my kids would wanna go on that. That's for sure. Just a little too. This approach is just edge, it's edgier also than the other one. There it is, a hair over six miles and over 3,000 feet of elevation gain. We're arriving back at the trailhead at Hell's Crossing, and that was hell. Hell's Crossing 2, Goat Peak is in the bag, and it's not going to be in the bag ever again, because the next time I'm taking the other route in. <laughs> Get outside.